Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a haul video from a thrift store trip that I made while on my lunch break. I didn't have much time, I was on my way home and I figured, hey, I might as well stop and see what they had. And honestly, this is the first time this has ever happened to me at a thrift store, at least this one. <laughs> So when I went in today, I checked the colors. The colors were red, green, and blue. Now yellow was 75% off, and the other two colors were 50% off. Knowing this, I never, never find the colors of that day on sale at this thrift store. Now I find them at Goodwill all the time, but this thrift store, for some unknown reason, I never find them. I don't know if it's because I only go every so often. I don't know if it's because I only spend a little bit of time there. There are some people who go there every day who, who spend hours there. Well. Being part-time and after having a full-time job and a family, it's really hard for me to do that. Today, I actually found some. And to make it even better, some of these shirts are really good. But before I show you the shirts, if this is your first time here, welcome. Hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell notification so you are notified when we post new videos. We usually post two videos a week, sometimes more, sometimes less. It all depends on our schedule. But we try to be informative and hopefully get some information to you while you are outsourcing and hopefully help you out. So let's get into why you're here. Now I do want to say that this thrift store that I went to does not like you filming there so I don't even take the camera out. Every now and then I'll try to get you some footage and hopefully next time I can. So this first shirt I got, brand new with tag, size XL, Pittsburgh Penguin shirt. We paid $5 for it, but it is a Sidney Crosby with the throwback. Now, as of filming this, tonight is the first round of the playoffs, the first the Penguins are playing the Rangers. So I'm hoping to get this listed on eBay tonight because I kind of want to get this out of here just in case they happen to lose, which I don't think they will, but you just never know. Original price tag on this thing is 35 bucks, size XL. Really nice shirt, except for I don't like white shirts, even though I'm kind of wearing an off-white. Happy with that fine. The next one we got, we ended up paying $2.99 for this. It is a size large, but it's a Dave Matthews Summer Tour 2015 shirt. This one was not 50% off right there. And then you have the back showing all tour dates 2015. So I'm not sure if... I, I'm guessing that wasn't a shirt sold at the concert. It's probably somebody selling it outside, but I'm not 100% sure. This next shirt, $3.99. Uh, honestly, one of my favorites. Oh, it does have a tag. Size large, Old Smoky Moonshine. Here is the back. It's the Old Smoky Moonshine logo. And the front says, All Good in the Woods. Now, I wish this was my size because I'd wear this. This would be a good camping shirt, good sitting out by the fire shirt, but somebody will like this. Uh, I've seen other people on whatnot selling these old smoky shirts. I was like, man, I really wish I could find one of those. And guess what? I found one. And I actually think there's another Moonshine shirt in this pile also. So the next shirt I found, this one was half off. So I got it for a buck fifty. It is a size XL. Nothing on the front. But the back says, I took a DNA test. God is my father. Veterans are my brothers. Really awesome shirt. They actually had a couple more of these. They had another XL and another medium. Now I'm wishing I had to pick them up. Because I really think this one's going to do well. Yep. I was right. This is smoky, old smoky charred moonshine shirt. It is a size XL. We ended up paying two bucks for this one. This one's super soft. It is on that next level tag, which this is a really, really soft shirt. The front says, I got so charred last night. I'm guessing that old smoky must make a charred moonshine is my guess. This next shirt I thought was cool just because I just sold an Outer Banks hat, but Delta Pro weight tag. We paid a 99 cents for this thing. Outer Banks with the paw print, nothing on the back, and it is a size XL. So nice shirt, nice, super, super soft shirt. Hey guys, if you made it this far already, please hit that thumbs up down below and also leave a comment. It helps out the channel so much when you guys comment and hit that thumbs up. Now back to the footage. This next shirt I thought was honestly really cool. It's a size large. We paid two bucks for it, but it is from Denali Park. Frontier Outfitters, Wild by Nature, Wolves. Everybody likes Wolves. I'm not sure I wouldn't wear it, but like I said, it is a size large. I think this one will do good. This one will probably be on the rack for our next whatnot auction. Okay, so next one we picked up, and this one doesn't have a tag, and I realized that. And I sh I'm trying to avoid shirts that don't have tags, but this one was actually pretty cool. Jesus. Five, five, Lion of Judah. Almost looks like the Detroit Lions logo. But I would probably say it's like a medium to a large. But yeah, we paid a buck for it, so I wasn't going to pass it. Now on shirts for whatnot, if we do not have a tag on them, we normally will post the measurements in the description. I got this one, half off, 
buck fifty. It's a size medium, but it is a Russia jersey. Right here. You're probably thinking, why did I pick this up? I'm still not 100% sure. But it will sell. Alexander Ovechkin, number eight, Russian jersey. I'm not 100% sure if this will end up on whatnot or not. Um, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I may toss it on there with a little bit higher starting bid just because if it doesn't sell there, it will sell on eBay. Found this really cool shirt. This is like a shirt for if you're out in the water. Size large, Southern Marsh. Pocket T, we paid $1.50 for it. Really cool Southern Marsh on the pocket, but then the back has this really cool fish logo. Oops, slips. It's really a silky shirt. Really cool background there. $1.50. I did comp that shirt before I bought it. They probably do about 15 to 20 bucks on eBay. This next thing up, I've had people ask me for Steeler gear and Pirate gear. The problem with me picking up this stuff at our thrift stores it's very high priced at these places and it it's not worth me picking up at these prices because I will not make any money I will probably lose money our thrift stores price Steelers Penguins and Pirates stuff really high if I'm going to find Steelers Pirates and Penguins stuff it's going to have to be at yard sales estate sales or garage sales but I did find this jersey at the, this thrift store and it was half off I paid $4 for it is it's on the old NFL equipment tag Reebok jersey, Troy Palamalu. Palamala. It does have a few minor imperfections on the front, right here, but that is okay because these jerseys are known for that. I've mentioned in previous videos, always check that. Since these ones really aren't too bad, I decided to pick it up for four bucks. The back looks great, and this will be a perfect jersey to wear to a Steeler game. Uh, it is a size 2XL right here so really good jersey and for four bucks i wasn't leaving it there two more shirts we picked up these brian reynolds pittsburgh pirate jerseys um i think these might have been giveaways at the stadium but it's 4.99 on this one i got another one right here same size and everything 2.99 she ended up giving me them both for two dollars and 99 cents they are a kids xl these are going to be for my kids to wear when they go to a pirate game since Brian Reynolds is pr pretty much the only one left on the team other than Brian Hayes. So my kids will wear these when we go to the pirate game. Last but not least, I found this shirt, brand new with tags. It has a little mark on the back that I'm going to try to get out, but it is a size medium. It is a Reebok shirt from 2004. This is the NFC Conference Champion shirt, Super Bowl 39, I think it is. Philadelphia Eagles, right here. Still, got, still has the hologram up here. Nothing on the back. These are the basic shirts that they made back then. Got the Reebok tag right there. We paid $4.99 for this one. I think this one will do really well. There is a small spot on the back. Now I can't even see it. Right here. It's a very small spot that I'll try to get out. Since I can't run it through the wash with that sticker on it. But, yeah. Nope, not gonna do that. I'll try to get it out. So really cool shirt for that. I think our grand total that I spent was about 18 bucks. So super happy with that. I expect a pretty decent return on investment on this. So that is that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry I kept you guys so long, but remember hit that subscribe button down below. Also hit that bell notification so you're notified when we post new videos. And until next time, remember, stay safe, stay healthy, and keep picking guys. Bye.